G'day guys, how you going, what are you doing? It's me, you know me, don't you? It, it's been some time. Look at me navigating the, uh, the streets of Melbourne. Uh, why is, why is this happening? Why, after three years, I'm sick, I'm sorry, I can't talk. Oh, this was supposed to be a completely voiced overed video, but, uh, this week, I am not up to it, so I'm just gonna leave it to her. I'm gonna let you watch this little intro. First thing that I upload in three years. Oh man, I missed this advocate win. Listen to the exhaust! Oh, I miss it. Oh well, let's get this show on the road. Ah, damn it. Like this video if you like the like videos you like. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Oh, you know what, I can't do that to you. We're doing this, we're doing this live. I'll power through it. Give me some vapor drops, let's do this. Oh, Simon. I miss you, buddy. Look at you, cyclist. Stay in your lane. <laughs> so we're meeting up uh, just outside the, uh, the spirit of Tasmania's dock. This is fun. I... Absolutely cocked up the aspect ratio, by the way. This is a hero session, a GoPro session, whatever you call it. The 5? I don't know. It's 1920 by 1440. Not the kind of 16 by 9 content that I'm used to creating. Although now you might have seen a few of my recent videos and I'm starting to just do some gaming content. It's in 21 by 9, 3440 by 1440. So that's pretty fun, I'm having a good time doing that. Oh, get king. Oh man, that hyper motor. Oh, there was Simon's Tracer in there as well. What a lovely day as well. I was thinking about why I might have put it on such a weird resolution, and I think I just wanted 60 frames with the highest possible um, resolution at that frame rate. I guess I'll just I'll just go with that. It's way too late to change it now. First gear, side stand. Got it. That was a good night. This is good. Yeah, nobody's hearing any of that announcement. <laughs> It's one of those things, you know, like, oh, if the ship's not listing, then we're already fine. And we're docked anyway, so, you know, easy out. Let's go. Bump my head on that. This is a tall bike. 19 degrees Celsius. Balmy. For Tasmania. In March, you know, supposed to be heading into autumn. Or fall, as the states call it. That weather, though, that is that is Tasmania. A lot of my first trip with the boys was just absolute bucketing rain. That was Jay in the background saying, "Off-road already." Yeah, there is actually a lot of unexplored dirt road in Tasmania that I want to see. It's on the bucket list. But in the meantime, let's stop off for the first meal of the day. All you can eat. That's right, buddy. All you can eat. You got this. So I'm going to be quieter over this part of the video, this section where it's just pure road riding. I just want you to hear the twin, see the road, drink it up, and enjoy it just as I enjoy reviewing this footage. I haven't seen it in so long. I didn't even know where it was, like I mentioned in the trailer video of this series. It's um, it's on a hard drive that I lost completely. So that was it was a mind-blowing relief to find that because this is really good stuff. And would you believe, as of the first of this month, the Spirit of Tasmania is absolutely free, uh, subsidised by the government. So if you have the funds and the time, which I don't unfortunately at the moment. Go for it. Just do it. Do all of this shit right here. It's so good. 
And it really doesn't matter what you use to travel these roads, like if you go adventure bike, uh, naked, supermoto, cruiser, super sport, like there was such a wide variety of bikes in our group, like there were two Africa Twins, there was a Hyper Motard, and also the KTM 690 and the Husqvarna 701. There was a CBR 600R, there was a S1000 RR, there was a Street Triple, and two MT09s, one regular and one the uh, Tracer variant, which is much more suited to this kind of long distance riding. So yeah, whatever you bring, you will have fun. seems to handle wind noise much better when I'm standing up, so there are definitely use cases where the Africa Twin would benefit from a taller screen. See how well this waterproof luggage holds up? Yeah, exactly. Waterproof luggage. Waterproof. On the topic of that previous clip though, you definitely did have to be there to get that joke. I was behind Twitch when his pannier waterproof cover came off and just flicked right up over my head <laughs> into the air. The air took it and there was water everywhere. It just splashed me with water. It was funny. You had to be there, man. <laughs> Speaking of you had to be there, why haven't you already booked your Tasmania tickets? Come on, hurry up. Look at this. Don't you want to experience this? Like, damn. This is the right thing to do when you're in a group ride, you stop at a corner and make sure people can catch up. Yeah, pretty good. Some of the magic of Tasmania is just having these wide open high speed roads where there's just logging or farming or just anything agricultural or you know industry related and it's there's lots of road work on these roads too because trucks pass by them all the time. There's just a special kind of awe you get when you see a big square of cleared land and then Immediately after that, just a big square of trees that are just waiting to, you know, waiting for their turn to become the next empty square. 
you ride past all of this and it just makes you feel small and of course that's still not you know the, the extent of what Tasmania has to offer in terms of sheer beauty like of course it doesn't like you know the, the logging industry is not exactly about to become the biggest uh, tourism uh, feature of Tasmania that would be just crazy right Presented without context. Some might argue it sounds like a wet fart, but th there's something alluring about a thumper, a big fat single cylinder going up, down, up, down, up, down, making as much noise like a deflating rubber balloon. It's just glorious. Post in the comments if you're still watching. What is your favourite motorcycle sound? Mine's the V-Twin, or the 270 crank twin. Just for, you know, if you're curious, of course. Let's have one of those conversation things in the comments. I love those, I miss those. So here's an interesting little piece of information that reveals that people don't really expect an Africa Twin, a big heavy adventure bike, to do so well on the road. Honestly, with a set of good tyres, you feel unstoppable on one of these things. It's just an unstoppable machine. You can ride that thing, man. You're doing fucking good. And yeah, music blaring. Didn't hear a word you said, sorry. So as we outro up in here, I, I really want to just take the time to say thank you very much if you've gotten to this far in the video and you're still watching, you're still here after all these years, you know, the, the scene's not the same as it used to be, a lot has changed, I've been completely out of it, uh, lost my bikes in order to fund certain, you know, other things like a house, a car, other general, you know, life responsibilities, it all gets in the way, you know, so you make do with what you got and you, you keep planning for a, for a, for a turnaround and I want to thank you for being here as this turnaround finally happens. Yes, this channel I believe will be changing irreversibly once this Tasmania trip has uh, run its course. 
for the foreseeable future there's no motorcycle related content planned other than this last little Tasmania trip but if I find myself in possession of another motorcycle you guys will be the first to know but in the meantime I'm going to keep as active as possible with gaming content and just claw my way back out of the hole that the YouTube algorithm has I guess you can say put me in due to inactivity uh, so thank you and goodbye for now